I'm Corbett Wall with DB Auction here with your feeder flash for Tuesday, February the 9th, brought to you in part by Vitalix. Vitalix lick tubs can give your cattle the energy they need to get through these frigid cold temperatures. Get the blue tub, visit Vitalix.com. Dangerous temperatures. Uh, I tell you what, it's uh, going to get so far below zero, it's unbelievable. Uh, regular temperature, not to count the, uh, the wind chill temperatures. And, and looking for those uh, as we get later in the week, this is going to last for like 10 days. We get later in the week, it's going to come down into the southern plains uh, to places that aren't really prepared for it. But, uh, man, it is really, really cold out there. And thank God for global warming. I'm not sure what we're going to do here uh, towards the end of this uh, Biden administration. It's going to be so cold, you know, we can't even stand it uh, at all bad as it is now but once they get things all fixed back up it's unbelievable how cold it'll be but uh go through this day you know your your board was pretty supportive uh, earlier in the day and then it backed off some uh closed a little bit lower on your your fat cattle futures there we did have nine de uh, tender deliveries there uh at the end of the day uh it was the first day that they could tender for delivery they think that one sixteen and a half looks pretty good and they'll, they'll take that for their cattle and if they've got them sold on the board there they can uh, they can deliver those and that threat of delivery is what puts teeth in that contract and that's why people trade it so much more than they do uh, you know like the feeder cattle is, is a cash settlement so it's just kind of a derivative there but uh, your grains were just out of sight again on Monday and it's it's unbelievable how high these grains have got and I'm not sure who planted the notice that we were so short of grain but uh, it's gotten out of hand here we're, we're facing corn being at six dollars a bushel here and beans at 14 and uh, you know on Monday it was up so big uh, in anticipation of the USDA crop production report that's going to come out here on Tuesday and uh, they're expecting it to be bullish and uh, you know, I don't mean the uh, row crop farmers in the ill will but uh, you know I, th I think they've gotten up there high enough and then those uh, last all the way until we get to new crops so I guess we're gonna have a big bumper crop you know if you think if we are uh, we're, we're so short of now that uh, you wouldn't tail off quite so fast when we got to the new crop but uh, I, I think that's a little bit artificial but uh, it looks like they're going to stay up there at least uh, you know in the fives here quite a bit if not reaching that six dollar bushel on this corn and my gosh just think of what our cost of gains would be then let's look at the board uh, on your cattle futures on Monday February live cattle futures down 15 cents at 116.57 April up 17 cents at 123.95 it was a lot higher than that it was approaching 125 earlier in the session uh, you go on your out fronts on uh, your live cattle futures down 10 cents to up 40 so not too awful bad and you get into back months still support there March feeder cattle down 82 cents at 137.45 April down 72 at 141.47 and you get some of those back months looking at how high this corn could be they really took it off of them and, and it's understandable but uh, on your out fronts there on your feeder cow futures down 95 cents to down 215 big hunk so look at the weighted average on last week's negotiated fat cattle trade out of your five area feeding region 81,400 head negotiated sales compares to 76,500 last week and just 54,800 the same week a year ago and uh, your live sales of steers and heifers 111 to 115.50 that'd be one and a half to two and a half higher on your range but basically your market's a buck higher and the market's a buck 14 although your your live steer weighted average was 113.63 and that was still up a dollar 19 so uh it's good to gain the ground when you can dress sales from 178 to 183 uh, on that range that would be two to five dollars higher but basically your dress market was steady to two bucks higher and your weighted average on dress steers 179.26 that was up a dollar seventy nationwide they moved 102,500 head negotiated compared to 282,200 head formulated last week 
but of your negotiated sales, 102,500 hit, about 27% of those were for the 15 to 30 day delivery, which is about normal. Uh, look at your box beef cutout values. A lot of times we don't look at them on a Monday, but I tell you what, people are already kind of seeing that as these grain prices get so much higher and your cost of gains rise so much higher, we're, we're, we're likely not going to make these, well, the, the Iowa guys could do it. They might still do it. I saw on Monday where uh, the Iowa region is running the average dress carcass weights just over a thousand pounds still, you know. Get rid of them, guys. Shuck them. Uh, you know, it's almost like you're feeding them bakery waste or something like that. You just want to uh, to keep the, uh, the 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 outfit that's putting it away. But uh, this feed is costing you guys. It's it's a it's a opportunity cost if nothing else. You could sell that grain. You know, you've got to move those cattle out of there and, and find some some lighter uh, replacements. But you're you're losing money on those cattle because the pound you're putting on is costing a lot more than what it's bringing. But uh, Hey, you're, you're starting to see on your box beef cutout values, we're starting to see our choice select spread widen because we're likely not to feed those cattle to be way over be obese uh, uh, you know, with cost of gains well over a dollar. Uh, we'll start to back off of that a little bit and you'll start to see more select carcasses and you know we've been seeing for the last several years here we've been seeing our, our grading just way off the charts and way better than what it, it typically is and really probably what it should be but uh, you know over 80 percent choice in the five area feeding region that's crazy uh, you know that that's uh, unbelievable I think your camera grading has something to do with that it's pretty forgiving there but uh, look at your box beef cutout values on Monday afternoon choice cuts 236.20 up $1.62 selects down 18 cents at uh, at 220.61 and so now we got a choice select spread to over 15 and a half dollars there let's talk about your uh, your feeder cattle market your real-time index on DV auction sit at 135.38 down nine cents but still even though we're in an unevenly steady market here for the last week or ten days uh, your your real-time index is just nine cents per hundred weight from your CME cash feeder cattle index and a very very good indicator there Let's talk about some of your big sales on Monday Oklahoma City Oklahoma National Stockyard 7500 head and lighter runs everywhere uh, either due to icy conditions snow up in the northern plains and midwest but frigid frigid uh, weather and we're, we're really uh, pretty current on our feeder cattle sales so guys if, if they didn't just have to get out in it they didn't and and so it's not going to back them up too much we've been selling cattle right along here for the last several months but uh, Oklahoma National Stockyard 7500 head feeder steers steady to two bucks lower steer calves four to eight bucks lower heifers kind of unevenly steady there but uh, they, they were getting kind of a, an icy drizzle there uh, along I-44 going up from Oklahoma City all the way up through Joplin and uh, everybody was kind of commenting about it and unlikely after the sun went down getting pretty uh, slick out but that's dangerous especially when you got a load on but Joplin Regional Stockyards light run there 2900 head steady to five bucks lower where they were tested but that's a pretty light run there for Joplin uh, let's go on up uh, north a little further Russell Iowa Russell livestock only 2400 head for them and uh, and they those guys were watching the grain market uh, steer calves mostly four to six dollars lower on your middle weights where they were best tested heifer calves two to five dollars lower in there but they have had, had some uh, hellacious sales the last several weeks and and uh, bringing those down five or six bucks is, is not going to hurt anything but let's talk about some of your stick out sales that I saw on Monday how about Martin Livestock Auction in Martin South Dakota they had a, uh, a string of cattle come in from Batesland uh, South Dakota included in there was a hundred and eight head of 600 pound steer calves bring 162.75 that's a pretty impressive quote there how about Ted Baum uh, my buddy up there at Elgin Nebraska with Elgin livestock sales 60 head 849 pound steers bring 135.10 but uh, the most impressive quote that I saw anywhere on Monday 
and your Zach Tran top quote for the day come out of uh, West Point, Nebraska. 43 head there with uh, John Shaven and the guys. 43 head of fancy black steers weighed 533 at 191.50. And, uh, you know, I was talking to one of the buyers there and he said, my God, for what they cost a head, you can buy a 700 pounder cheaper. Uh, he is right. If what those uh, 533 pound steers cost, 1021 a head. Uh, you divide that by 700 pounds, that's 146. So, uh, you know, what would you rather have? That's your feeder flash for Tuesday.